Hello again, this is Dr. Farah, board certified radiologist. I'm here to continue my discussion uh, regarding uh, DEXA scans. So um, in the previous clip, I did show you this image, uh, which, uh, uh, which what we get for the bone mineral density measurements, at the hip and the uh, lumbar spine. And what we get from that is a chart that looks like this where you get the actual bone mineral density uh, quantification plus uh, a, a young adult T-score and an age-matched Z-score. Uh, the Z-score is age-matched and sex gender-matched as well for men and women. But the, what's used for the diagnosis is that T-score where the patient is compared to the data from the bone mineral density data from younger adults. Anything uh, uh, above minus one uh, on that score is normal, okay? And anything between minus one and minus 2.5 is called osteopenia, which is decreased bone mineral density. And anything below minus 2.5 is considered osteoporosis. Um, and of course, Osteoporotic patients are increased risk for having both the hip fractures and the lumbar spine compression fractures, where their, their height will gradually decrease over time. Uh, the other application that I wanted to quickly um, go over is uh, the body composition, uh, where uh, in this uh, patient who uh, has a, a lot of body mass, has quite a bit of adipose tissue, a lot of fat, and um, that's in the uh, obese range. And uh, here's another patient with um, uh, the opposite. This is called uh, cachexia, when the body fat is, uh, is diminished in this case, and it's usually due to uh, um, a condition, uh, either cancer or... Um, um, uh, prolonged uh, starvation uh, or hospitalization, for example. I hope you found this helpful and useful. And if you did, please give it a like, and I will see you in the next clip.